Hey guys, and welcome back to Dead Space. We last left off, we were finished in this place, medical, at least for now. Uh, we've also bought a shit ton of weapon upgrades, which hopefully, in the not too distant future, we're going to be finding a workbench so we can actually upgrade these things, which would, you know, be quite nice. Um, right, let's just go straight in, shall we? Um, yeah, it's fine. Right, where are we off to? We're off to... Tram control. tram control, eh? Well, we've already been there once. God, I love how that suit looks. It looks really cool. Now, this is power armor of the future. Unless you're playing Duke Nukem. Power armors for pussies. I disagree, Duke. I disagree. Right, now. Is there anywhere that has. Oh, yes, there is. There's a workbench. Just down here. Let's go. Let's get this bloody cover off my keyboard. Ugh. That's better. Right. Lovely, 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 lovely. Now, what to upgrade? So, flamethrower upgrade. Force gun upgrade. Force gun upgrade. Force gun upgrade. And the line gun upgrade. Wow, we've got 14 power nodes. It's kind of redonkulous. Um, so we could start leveling up our capacity. What does that do? Eye walls burn for much longer. Alright, I mean... Seems somewhat useful, I guess. What are our other options? Line gun. So, we can do more damage with the line gun. And what does that do? Greatly increases the laser... See this... Mm, it's fine, but... We're upgrading the damage of our secondary abilities, which I'm sure have their use. Let's get the force gun worked over, shall we? So, gravity wells now cause damage over time. Okay, okay. Uh, gravity wells last much longer. And gravity wells have a larger radius. Okay, so that does seem very focused on one thing. So let's get some damage. I guess we're going to get some capacity. Because reloading is for losers. We'll get that. Now it causes damage over time. Sure. Right, that seems to now be doing a good chunk of damage. And I suppose... We'll grab that as well. So, that's all of our nodes spent, basically. Uh, Alright, so we can go for rate of fire, or we could go for reload speed. Uh, I guess we're going to go for reload speed. Sure. Alright, I mean, that works. Maybe we'll have to give this force gun a bit of a go. We don't have a lot of shots for it though. Flamethrower is looking pretty healthy. And our line gun as well. Cool. So I think it's important to note with these upgrades for our weapons when we find them and apply them they don't actually upgrade the weapon per se um, what they do ah oh, see that's so annoying they just allow you uh, the ability to upgrade further things right we've got plenty of ammo for that okay we're in pretty good hands I think ah just have a quick squiz. There's no... Oh, there is. Shame we can't go through that door. You c 
because we've got a room there that's locked. That's unfortunate. So at some point we should be able to get in there, but we can't get in there yet. That's fine. Whatever. That's fine. Let's go to the hangar. Now yeah, we've got some pretty powerful weapons, man. Pretty powerful weapons indeed. Uh, do we need to go to the bathrooms? Nah, I think we're good. Anybody home? Security recording retrieved. We did. Oh, there's Chen. Yeah, man, Chen had a bad time. Bless him. And his corpse definitely isn't there anymore. Definitely got up and had a little bit of a wander around. Which is the style for these guys. Seriously. You're just going to close on me like that? Right. What are we looking at? Hopefully by the time we come back next week and start recording some more, there'll be a new patch for this game that increases its stuttering. Hi, this damage report says there's a broken cargo lift just beyond the hangar door. I'll open them now. Entering zero gravity. Oh, okay. Zero G. Cool. Could have warned me about that. You'll need your thrusters to reach it, but that lift shaft should take you straight down to engineering. All right, buddy. Now there's a lot of stuff to find around here. And find it we will. Now we're going to be back here quite a bit later. Where that music sounding, I think we have enemies. Maybe. going to collect up as much stuff as we can. Probably should be saving this for when we come back here at the end of the game, but eh. You know. It's useful to us now, I suppose. Although it does appear to just be credits, pretty much. Yeah, I'm noticing that we're getting less credits on this difficulty for sure. I mean, we're still getting the same amount of credit pickups, but they're worth significantly less. I wonder... Oh, hello. Nice, we'll have it. We could put the battery up there, but we don't need to. That whole apparatus up there will be uh, playing with that lot later on. Right, gimme, 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 gimme. More money, like a hundred credits, come on game. Why you gotta be stingy like that? That's just obnoxiously stingy. Yeah, I'm not asking for much. You know. But a little bit more than nothing. would be nice. Okay, 500 credits. That's a little bit better. Now, and the horse we rode in on. Not a lot left of this bad boy, is there? I wonder if the corpse of our friend is still inside. Ah, you know what? I never actually came over this side. In my last playthrough. Very nice. Flamer fuel. And some line racks. Not going to sniff at that. Oh man, look at all this stuff. 100 creds. 500 creds in total. 
nice. We like plasma energy. That is like the lifeblood of us. Now, I wonder, is there a way that we can get back inside the ship? Let's say probably not. But that would be pretty cool. Although, it doesn't really look like there's any way getting back inside, sadly. Oh well. What have you got for me? More cash. Oh, dude, look at this. Oh, maybe we can. Ooh, we actually can. Oh, no. There's Johnson. Oh, no. Johnson, what do they do to you? Wow, she is messed up. I mean, admittedly, she doesn't really have to worry about her uh, broken foot anymore. So, there's that. you got to look at all the positives, guys. Right, I think we're good. I think that's everything. Let's go. Going this way? I think. Yep, we're going this way. Fly through the debris. Very quiet around here. Yeah, the the pointy doodad is a little bit weird, but that's okay. That's cool. Right. So we're now on the external side of the ship. Keep your eyes peeled for goodies. We know what this game's like for goodies. There's an oxygen thing behind us. Cool. We do like to breathe oxygen. Ooh. Right. This is important. We found somebody's rig. Oh, hello. Now, that's part of a really long, somewhat obnoxious side quest that we don't know about yet <laughs> but we need to find a lot of rigs for a lot of people so the fact that we've already got one is cool and we need to do that to get all the side content and collecting all of these rigs will allow us actually let's go grab some air will allow us to get the master clearance so we can open on any lock in the game which is certainly useful I wish there was some kind of booster so we could move a little bit quicker here but it is what it is really no goodies very stingy here. Very stingy, but whatever. Actually, I wouldn't be surprised if there's a couple of little bits further on. Now, I'm pretty sure, correct me if I'm wrong, in the original Dead Space, um, didn't dispensers have cooldowns? So, like your oxygen dispenser, your... Uh, kinesis recharge points, that sort of stuff. I'm sure they had cooldowns. I could be wrong. Oh. Alright. Apparently we're at the limit, guys. Probably don't want to float off into space. I say probably. I'm not sure what would be worse. Floating around here. Or floating off to space. 
probably take our chances in the ship, to be honest. More creds. What's that? It's an oxygen bottle, which we don't need. But, ooh, this looks organic. Yeah, we don't need the oxygen bottles, but we can sell them for a reasonable amount of money, actually, to be honest. Alright. I think we've pretty much got everything we can. Having all that extra oxygen really Existing does help. Yeah, that's one of the events that can happen. <laughs> you hear a whole load of noise. Oh, look at all this scraping. I guess they were either moving a lot of cargo out, or, I don't know. Yeah, that's one of those random rare events that's supposed to happen, but we got two in one go. <laughs> I haven't seen two in one go before, what's this say? We are not punished for our sins, but by them. By who? Oh, that's an engineer. What, the mutants? Probably means the mutants. Yeah, these uh, level one doors don't generally have much of value in them. Um, let's take our fan for a walk. Ooh. Alright. Yeah, this growth is going to be a problem, isn't it? Engineering log. See uh, Danvers. Organic growth in engineering. Adding this to my maintenance priority request. Maybe something in writing will make them pay attention. That unidentified growth reported elsewhere on the ship has reached engineering. Not even medical knows what the hell this stuff is. Looks like somebody threw their guts up all over the walls and smells about the same. It's spreading faster than we can cut it up, which is pretty disgusting in itself. It's already busted the cargo lift, and it's getting into the engineering, uh, into the engine spoke. If we can't find a way to stop it soon, it'll all be over for the main engine chamber by the day after tomorrow. Meantime, I'm heading to the mining deck. They've got a uh, PF. M100s in storage for ice mining and they can spare the fuel. Maybe cauterizing this stuff will do the trick. Just hope it doesn't smell worse when it's on fire. Hmm. Burning this stuff, eh? So that's the cargo lift. I mean, if this is the cargo bay or, you know, the heavy duty cargo lift, that would explain all the scraping. But well, that's not great. In fact, that's the opposite. Right, so we're here in engineering. Ah, oh, this is the engine. Oh, I remember this bit. This bit's really cool. Okay. We could have a little look in here. I think this is just... What was through here? Ah, this is the tram station. Right, let's open this bass up. I don't know, actually. Rigolink. Over 50 years of experience providing the best aftermarket upgrades, offering reliable firing, sustained use, and reset. Oh, professional triggers. Hmm. Yeah, uh, I don't think there's ever enemies in these areas. With one exception, of course. There is one of these little areas that we can explore later on. And there is one lonely enemy walking around. Uh, we can vaporize his ass. But when we actually get to the part where we can explore that area, he does appear, reappear again. So, you know. Alright, what are we looking at? 
You know what might help with the stuttering? I wonder, can I lock the frame rate somewhere? Okay, I've tried loads of things. I cannot lock the frame rate, but whatever. So, let's continue. Let's see what we've got. Yeah, apparently that um, frame rate cap might not work if G-Sync is enabled. So, I've disabled G-Sync and it's still not working. Ah, gaming in 2023. Engineering log, acting chief engineer Jacob Temple reporting. I still can't believe the chief is gone. It's all fallen apart since the captain died. Everyone down here is on their last nerve. We thought the rioting was the worst of it. Until those things came through the vents. Their faces. Fuck, those were my lunch buddies. Liz's friends. Old boyfriends. And out of nowhere, the engines are screwed. Primaries laboring, we're hemorrhaging fuel. Fuck if I know why. I'm taking Danvers to the fuel depot to fix it. Gotta keep the team focused or we'll crack. Temple out. Yeah, things were getting pretty bad. Alright, well, let's drop a save. What do we got? We got a few minutes left. So, let's see what's going on here in the main engineering complex. Another engineer, obviously. Control room. Any news on the engines? Yeah, but it makes no sense. They're out of fuel. The centrifuge is offline. We're tethered to a four trillion ton payload. Without the engines, it's dragging us down to the planet. Can you handle it alone? Sure. Fix the centrifuge, get the fuel running, then do a full restart. But you'll need the stabilizer orbit from there. Standing by. Fast as you can, Isaac. <laughs> Sure. Sure, we can handle, you know, everything. Alright. Let's go. How hard can it be to refuel the engines? Right? Oh, nice. The intestines in the sink. Lovely. Okay. What have we got going on down here? Ooh. This is where we would pick up the... Ah, the Ripper, yes. Which is quite a spicy weapon, to be fair. Oh, I don't trust it. Nope, that's fine. If you can pick bodies up, they're dead. So, we're good. The bench. Oh, hello. Right, let's try get around beside this guy. Yeah, you got nothing, son. You got nothing. Um, ooh. Ooh, how did I miss that? It's a ripper upgrade. Straight away. So the upgrades are in big bins like that. So let's have a little look. Uh, we don't want to play with a ripper. Um, plasma cut is maxed. Let's have a look at the flamethrower. Uh, I mean, I guess we could go for capacity. We've put a lot into the force gun. Force gun is becoming a spicy meatball. Let's make it do more damage. Because damage is always good. Getting more bang for your buck. We like that. Alright. Oh. Autopsy report, Dr. Nicole Brennan. Rig identifies the subject with junior engineer David Swenson. The subject was dismembered after falling into machinery. Oof. Just 
contains a yellow vial seen in other specimens. Seen this vial react to dead or bioprosthetic cells. The dead tissue is absorbed, recombined, then reanimated. The vial shares genetic markers with human DNA and a growth on the walls. It's all connected to the marker from pages 7. How? Dr. Kine studied the marker. Dr. Kine has vanished. Unless he's with the survivors on the mining deck. Rest easy now, David. I promise. End log. Looks like she's cutting his throat or something at the end there, surgically. Okay, so find Kind's mining deck hideout. Nice. Evacuate this area immediately. Like this, we've got some drawings there. Oof. Yeah. I do like all of these added little scenes. I mean, I'm not super familiar with the original game. I played it once, like, all the way back in the day. Um, but I do remember bits and pieces. Right, what have we got through here then? Some ripper blades, we can use those to sell. And uh, we've got the bathroom. Uh, let's go check the bathroom out. Got a security log in the bathroom. Security request retrieved. We need help down in engineering. Devers, get those wires off. I don't want to. I don't want to. Christ, Henderson, your teeth. He's pulling his teeth out. Just hold him. Where the fuck is security? Oh god, he's dead. No, he's alive, but he hit that sink pretty hard. His own teeth. Chief, what the hell is happening? I don't know. Cancel security request. Henderson needs the medical bay. And a shrink. Jesus. Pulling your own teeth out. Oof. Not great. And that's where it happened. Look, oh, pulling his own teeth out with the pliers. And I guess he smashed his head. I like it when you can see a little bit from these um, these scenes. I like it. Oh, hello. Was that necessary, game? So we can see the uh, showers there. Now what I find most interesting about these toilets is oh hello at least to my mind where are the where's the doors unless some kind of barrier comes across when you're in them like some kind of force field which might explain what these are I don't know man <laughs> that's kind of weird just you know dropping the kids off at the pool in front of all of your peers. Right. So, we're kind of out of time, actually, guys. So, I'm going to make my way back up to the save station that was up here. And then, when we come back, I guess we're going to continue further down. Any enemies? Anything going to happen? Quite often when I go back to save the game. Something is waiting for me. Anyway guys, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.